All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. The Chicago Bears are trading Justin Fields for a 2025 sixth round pick that goes to a fourth round pick based on play time. So apparently, it will become a fourth round pick if he plays 51% of the plays this season. Um, absolutely hilarious move. From the Chicago Bears. If you guys didn't know, I'm from the Chicago land area. I do cover the Chicago Bears. Uh, Pittsburgh, welcome. Justin Fields, do we have a little quarterback competition? Hey, I remember a certain somebody, aka Pittsburgh Steelers management, saying that there was going to be some competition at the quarterback spot. Uh, well, things just got kind of interesting. Justin Fields is a Pittsburgh Steeler, dude. That's hilarious. For a sixth round pick. For a sixth round pick, dude. <laughs> Bears fans were begging, begging for a second round pick. It's funny how things work. Uh, but yeah, welcome back to the channel. I just got out of the shower. We're, um, you know, maybe that's a little bit TMI. We're half nude here. Uh, the Bears just traded Justin Fields to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, so welcome back to the channel, man. Obviously, tonight we're going to be talking about this breaking news move from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, but before we get into it, if you guys enjoy it, hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. We post a ton of Steelers videos over here. So Steelers fans, if you could try and get this video to 250 likes, that would mean the world to me. Uh, Patrick Queen... The Deontay Johnson trade, the Russell Wilson acquisition. First things first, man, the Pittsburgh Steelers have had a really good offseason thus far. Uh, folks, this is a fleece. Uh, this is a complete and utter fleece. And I'm still trying to wrap my mind around who the starting quarterback will be next season. But whether it's Russell Wilson or Justin Fields, uh, I have a strong feeling that the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback play is going to be much improved next season. Uh, you know, we've talked about it time and time again on this channel, why Kenny Pickett was not it. Apparently, he was being a diva and he was not having any of the Russell Wilson pickup. So um, they traded him yesterday or the day. No, they traded him yesterday. And uh, the pick made total sense, or the trade, sorry, made total sense, in my opinion here. Uh, but this is a stale bag of chips. I mean, quite literally, you just traded a stale bag of baked ruffles to the Chicago Bears for quarterback Justin Fields. And, you know, regardless of who starting quarterback one's going to be for Pittsburgh next season, by the way, we've talked about Justin Fields to the Pittsburgh Steelers so much this channel, this offseason. We've talked a lot of Russell Wilson to this team all offseason. Uh, folks, Pittsburgh desperately needed quarterback help. And as Omar Khan said, Mike Tomlin said they want quarterback competition. <laughs> but I think most Steelers fans were probably assuming that meant Mason Rudolph and Kenny Pickett. And now it's looking like Justin Fields and Russell Wilson. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, folks, the Pittsburgh Steelers in the last two seasons have had 25 combined passing touchdowns. That's in two seasons. Two seasons. So my guess at this point, because this happened like five minutes ago, four minutes ago, however long this video is right now, my guess is that Russ is probably the starter, but at the same time, man, Arthur Smith was Justin Fields, Jalen Warren, and Najee Harris. Um, either way, once again, regardless of who quarterback one is next season, that's an unbelievable move. A fourth round pick, once again, if he plays in 51% of the plays this season, in my opinion, that would only happen if Russell Wilson loses the starting quarterback role in the offseason and training camp and in preseason, or if he gets injured and you know ends up winning the job. Um, I like Justin Fields. You know, I, I'm I'm from the Chicagoland area, so I'm a little bit biased, but as you guys know, I'm a diehard Green Bay Packers fan. So this move's a little intriguing. Uh, when they traded Kenny Pickett yesterday, I was thinking to myself, you know, Jordan Travis, you're probably a Pittsburgh Steeler. Michael Penix Jr., you're probably a Pittsburgh Steeler. Obviously, that's changed completely. If I was Pittsburgh at this point, 
I would try to run with Justin Fields because, you know, Russell Wilson, 35 years old, he's obviously at the end of his career here. Um, it, <laughs> It's actually just kind of crazy thinking that either Justin Fields or Russell Wilson next season on Pittsburgh is going to be a backup quarterback. But this is huge, man. The Pittsburgh Steelers last year were ranked 28th in total offense. They averaged less than 18 points per game. Their defense almost single-handedly brought them to the playoffs. Shout out to Mason Rudolph for winning the last three games. But we knew change was coming. Um, I didn't think it would be both Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. So this is a little off the dome here. I thought it would be one or the other. Um, why not both? All right? Why not both? B-O-A-F. Why not both? But guys, at the end of the day, man, Pittsburgh really needed a move like this. Uh, we're in an offensive era. And I say this on so many NFL videos that I make on this channel, like, I get it. You want a top defense, but here's the thing with Pittsburgh. You had the sixth ranked defense in the NFL last season. Obviously, TJ Watt got injured at the end. Uh, you have a nice draft pick in Joy Border Jr. You've got star studded linebackers in TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith and Alandon Roberts. Then you go out there and you pick up Patrick freaking Queen. Um, it's just crazy to me. Like, this is like, actually kind of crazy here. Um, wow. Whoever the hell the starting quarterback is, whoever the hell the backup quarterback is, at least the Pittsburgh Steelers now have options. I guess they had options last year, but folks, once again, if your starting quarterback gets injured and your third string guy steps in and wins your last three football games, um, and it's a question, or sorry, it's not a question on who the starting quarterback should be in your first game in the playoffs against the Buffalo Bills, snow or no snow, if the answer is not Kenny Pickett, your QB1 to start the year, uh, things should change. And that's exactly what Omar Khan is doing right now. So, you know, as far as the trade value itself goes, a sixth round pick is unbelievable. And a fourth round pick, even if Justin Fields is QB1, which, you know, at this point, honestly, folks, it's probably a 50-50 chance. Uh, that is still well worth the bargain. I remember... You know, I've got a Bears channel. I remember making Bears videos when they lost to Cleveland thinking, trade this dude for a damn first round pick if it's possible because it's clear as day. That is unbelievable return. And then it became a second round pick. And then we started seeing that Justin Fields has literally no trade value out there. And so I'm a little interested because Justin Fields is entering the fourth year of his contract, which means... Pretty much, if he wins the starting quarterback role, he will be your quarterback of the future, assumingly they pick up that fifth-year option. But folks, <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, it's a good week to be a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I absolutely love this trade, regardless of who he be one is. So hit that like button, hit that sub button. We're going to get this out to you guys, and I will see you soon. But let me know, who do you want? Justin Fields or Russell Wilson to